Hey guys, this is Michael from BuddyBoss.com. In the last video, I taught you how to install the BuddyBoss theme. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to configure everything you need to know to uh, really get going with your BuddyBoss site. So it might be kind of a long video. There's a lot of options, but I'm going to go through everything. So in one screen here, I have Chrome and I'm logged in to BuddyBoss. And then in this other screen, I have Safari and I'm logged out of BuddyBoss. And I'm going to use those two screens to show you everything. So let's start just with some uh, BuddyPress configuration options here. We want to make sure that users can actually register uh, to create accounts within BuddyPress. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Settings, General. And we're going to make sure this box, Anyone Can Register, is checked. Now you don't have to do that, but if you want to allow people to register on your site rather than having you manually add users, you need to make sure that's checked. And then we also want to go into settings, body press settings, and make sure show the toolbar for logged out users is checked. And that is this toolbar. So I'll just show you, I'll uncheck that. And I'll go back to this uh, browser that's logged out, and that's gone. So even though users can register, they don't really have any way to log in or register. There's no, nothing, sh no links for it. So we're going to go ahead and check that. Okay, so that's just an important little thing to talk about. Let's move on to uh, the actual Buddy Boss configuration options. So we've got this logo. This is the default logo that gets installed automatically when you install Buddy Boss, but you probably want to add your own. So we're going to go into the dashboard and we're going to go to Appearance Buddy Boss, which is a menu that gets added when you install the Buddy Boss theme. So here's the logo. We can choose a file to add as our new logo. And let me just show you, that logo is going to appear up here in the header. And when someone goes to log in, it'll show up in the login screen too. So you'll notice here that I've, I've mentioned the logo shouldn't be any bigger than 320 pixels wide. It can actually be any size and, you know, it'll, it'll fit in here. It's just that if it's bigger than 320, it's not going to look very good on this page. It's going to be really wide and it might look odd. So I suggest keeping it to that size if you can. So we're going to choose a file. Conveniently, I have one ready to go on my desktop and upload that. And that's it. It's uploaded. So let's refresh the page and check it out. Here we go. We've got my custom logo added. And if I go to the register page, it's ready to go. So there's the logo. Now let's move on to the admin bar. So this right here is called the admin bar. This right here is actually just, it's just this. Um, restyled to look a certain way that I thought looked nice. So it's this is the floating admin bar option where basically everything is floating to the right of the page and it doesn't take up too much room. And some people prefer it to be more like the WordPress admin bar where it's fixed to the top of the page and taking up the full width here. So I've provided that as an option. So in admin bar settings you can select fix and save it and it will change it to basically the default WordPress admin bar, except with our own custom Buddy Boss style, so it looks a little nicer. And same thing for somebody logged out, they'll get that, that style and set instead. So that's the admin bar. Now let's move on to profile walls. So if I go to members, and here's me and here's the guest user, just a second user account I created on the site, you'll notice that um, I can't actually interact with the guest user. Now, let me, let me go ahead and log in here as, as a guest. So here I am as the guest user. I can write something here. Okay. I can write that as the guest and over here, I'll see that the guest user wrote something, but I can't actually interact with the guest user like you can on Facebook, for example. But with Buddy Boss, you can. So let's go ahead and allow wall posting and save that. And boom, suddenly we have profile walls. So I can write something to guest user. I can say, hey man, and post that. And if I go back to guest user's account, guest user got it. Right, guest user can comment on it, pay back, and 
And if I refresh my page, we can see the comment. And if I go to my own profile, here it is, hey back. So, um, and if I click on newsfeed, right now I'm only friends with guest user, but the, the newsfeed is going to show me all the stuff that's happening from all my friends and all the groups I'm, I'm part of. And then uh, let me say, guest user joined my group. That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and like that. And then if I click on my likes, we can see uh, that I ha this is one of the pieces of content that I like. Okay. And that's the profile wall. And I can actually, I can paste videos in here as well. So let me, um, let's go to YouTube for a second, see what's going on. Okay, so we'll grab a Khan Academy video. So he's we have the million. working with decimals, looks very exciting. And copy that and I can paste that in. And we'll automatically get a YouTube video, right? So that's the wall. And then if we want to take this one step further, we can allow photos too. So let me go ahead and allow users to upload photos. I'll save that. And when I refresh the page, you'll notice a couple things change. One is that we have this add photo link and we've got a photos uh, tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a photo and I've got one ready, lily flowers and it shows me the progress and here we go the photo has been uploaded i'll add a little comment let's play flowers and i'll post it so now we've got a photo uploaded and i could actually go to the guest user and post a photo on his wall too i can add a second photo There we go. So now you can see that you get this grid of photos and we can actually uh, slide right through the photos. So that's the photos component. Um, let's move on to the login widget. So this is something on BuddyPress sites. Uh, you want an easy way for people who are logged out to be able to log in. And once they're logged in, you want an easy way for them to access their profile. And unfortunately, BuddyPress doesn't come with a widget for doing this. So we just created our own. So if I go into Appearance Widgets, you'll see we've got all these nice widget sections. So we've got one for a right sidebar on a page, one for the left sidebar on a page if you're using the three column layout, home page right and left sidebar for uh, members directory, single profiles, everything, everything you can need, we've got a widget area. So let's start with the home page left sidebar and we're going to add the Buddy Boss Profile Login Widget. And I'm going to just title this login here. Okay. So I go back to the home page. Now, because I've added a widget in the left sidebar, it automatically gave us a left sidebar. And that's pretty much how everything works. So, like, if I go to the members directory, let's say, we have no right sidebar. And if I go back to widgets, members directory, and add a widget, I'll call it right widget. Save that. And then refresh the members directory. Here you go. It automatically added a right sidebar for that for that widget. So that's how it works everywhere. Um, and so here we have our profile widget. So let me log out and show you what that's like when you're logged out. If we go ahead and log out. And go back to the home page. Here it is. Here's the profile widget which, with the title login here that I gave it. And you can add this widget anywhere you want to any of the widget areas. One thing you'll notice about the guest user profile, and this is for any new user, is that they get this default avatar, which is the default WordPress avatar. Um, I personally think it doesn't look all that good. So I've created a custom avatar that comes with Buddy Boss. So to set that up, go into the dashboard and go into settings, discussion, and then select the buddy boss man instead of the Mr. Man. Save changes. Now let's go back to the site and go to members. And you can see the guest user now has the custom buddy boss man. Okay, so let's go ahead, 
go back to the members page and this this members search is kind of weak it doesn't really do much for us so I'm gonna add a plugin called BP profile search that gives you really nice search options in this inside this is not something that we've built but we've tightly integrated with it so that it works nice and looks looks good um, so I'm gonna go to plugins add new and I'm gonna look for BP profile search And here it is. So install now and activate. All right, so that's set up. We're going to go to the profile search settings. And it does not matter really what you add here because you'll notice if you read the description here that um, this stuff is only for if it's hard coded in the page. What we're doing is not hard coded, uh, what we're doing is using the widget. So you do want to select the profile fields that should show up in the in the widget. So I'm just going to select all three of these. If you watch the BuddyPress tutorial, I taught you how to make profile fields. So I'm going to select all these to show up in the widget and save it. And then if I go to Appearance Widgets, I can add that to my members directory. So here's BP Profile Search. I'm going to throw that in there and get rid of this this thing here. And I'll call this search members okay so now when I go back to the members directory we've got a really cool member search so I could try to search by male and we both show up if I search by female neither of us show up right so it works okay now let's go back to some some nitty-gritty kind of stuff the, the WordPress stuff I'm going to show you about how to remove these comment boxes how to set up the um, navigation menus, and how to set up featured images in your blog posts. So here we have leave a reply. This is a comment. Every page by default allows you to have a comment box. Um, that's just sort of a WordPress convention that we wanted to follow. But you may not actually like that. You might not want a comment box on your home page, for example. So we're going to click Edit Page. And you'll notice we don't have options for comments. That's in Screen Options. So we can select what kind of things we want to see. I'm going to show comments. And we're allowing comments. So all you have to do is uncheck these, and that will remove the comment box. And that's the case for, for any page running Buddy Boss. That's how you do it. OK. And then let's move on to the navigation. So we've got this navigation at the top, which is not actually using a custom menu right now. This is just every page in the site. And then the footer has nothing right now. So we're going to go back to the dashboard and go to Appearance Menus. And we have this primary menu that we created in the uh, Customizing WordPress video. Um, just to show you what's going on, all of these links are in here, but you can see they're not in the same order as in here where Forum Index is at the end, uh, because this is no longer assigned to a, a menu. Every theme has its own menus. So we've got Primary Menu is the one on top, and I'm going to select that menu and then when I refresh the page now I've got our new menu set up and just to show you something else let me edit menus and I'll make the blog indented the blog has now become a drop down of home and in the primary menu section in the header we allow for drop down so let me refresh that and here we go so blog where did that go it's a drop down so that's how that works and you could even do a second level drop down if you want to by doing that. If I refresh that, we've got that set up. Okay, and then let me undo that though. So let's go ahead and create some more menus. So I'm going to go to Edit Menus and create a new one. I'm going to call this Footer Menu. And I'll add a couple of pages into that. Let's view the site. And oops, we're going to go to Manage Locations and assign the footer menu. So here we go. We've got the footer menus. And then I'm going to show you what these other sections are. Profile and group. What is this? So this is from something that had been requested 
by a number of people. They wanted the option to have um, extra links in the main navigation on profiles and groups. And so I gave it to you. So we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to use the footer menu for both for the sake of time. So I'm going to add a footer menu, add that menu into the profile section. And there you go. Those, those footer links that we created a second ago have been added into profiles. So you click sample page from your profile. And I'll do the same thing for groups. So if we go to groups, now we've got these extra links. And if I turn that off, you can see that they go away. And then the last thing I'm going to show you is in the blog, how to add featured images and how to add blog posts. So here's our blog post, Hello World. I'm going to edit it and I'm going to add a featured image. So here's the box set featured image and I'll use that flower image again. So it's all uploaded and I click set featured image and it's uploaded. Okay, so if we go back to the site and go to blog, now we've got this really nice featured image with the blog post. And if you've got a lot of blog posts, it can look really nice. And I think that's it for now.